Donk surprised a lot of people at Katowice with his superstar performance, but what is it that makes him so good? Let's answer the question right after Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated service that lets you trade skins instantly for a fee, sign up now, and get up to $5 bonus. Simply add items from your inventory, then find skins that matches your current balance. Site offers live support 24-7. You can also top up your balance if you're missing a few dollars, and there's a lot of skins to choose from. Visit my link down below to get to Skins Monkey. With Spirit winning the finals against Faith, 3-0, Donk ended that match with a mind-blowing 1.93 rating and 82 kills. It doesn't matter what you think of Donk, being able to do that is impressive by all means. So how does the Donk do it? What makes him truly special? There are three things that stand out with Donk. A lot of players have one or two of these things, but Donk has all three. The first is that he has great timing and knows exactly when to strike. This is easier said than done, and it's what allows him to get some very nasty kills. This example is great. Donk has to first clear the smoke on the right, after that goes inside, and then times to push with his teammates utility from ramp. At this exact second, the T's are looking the wrong way, which nets him a double. There's only a fraction of a second here to make this play work, and Donk makes it work. Here's another example where he makes every second count. To even get two kills here is just crazy. This next example is a little different, but it's based around timing. Donk is able to get two kills here through the smoke with perfect crosser placement. Yes, if this was your regular Premier experience, you'd immediately call cheats. But here's the thing, these teams practiced and scrimmed these scenarios a thousand times. The difference here though is that Donk has a great read, it's based around his knowledge of the exact seconds of the round and when the outside smokes were thrown. Now of course these kills are a bit lucky, but it's still a calculated guess, which again goes down to perfect timing. The next thing that stands out is how Donk constantly moves around and puts himself in positions that favors him. You could say that he's hunting for eco frags or that he's very aggressive, whatever, but it's more about him taking advantage of every opportunity that he gets. This example is a good one where we see perfect movement. As the T's are hitting B, he has to hold water, proceeds to smoke it out, then turns around. Notice how after he gets his first engagement, he doesn't try to hold it off from the same position. He instead pushes forward to the left to put himself in a favorable position. This makes it super hard for the T to return fire since Donk isn't allowing him the first angle of the engagement. After cleaning up, he proceeds to quickly go back inside, knows that he can win this fight to his favor by just letting the T get close to the smoke, and to make things worse for Heroic, finally gets a flash to punish the last T, who has no chance to fight back. Notice that all these kills were in his favor. Some of his pistol rounds are also perfect examples of putting himself in favorable positions. For example here, notice when T's decide to hit the site, Donk gets up close, peeks and sees no one, and then quickly goes to the left to to disallow anyone from getting him on the same angle. Then proactively moves and takes a swing at the enemy to give the T no chance to just swing around him and for the next kill where he knows that he can get a favorable position, he goes up as it once again favors him. You could pretty much summarize this by saying that he's not letting anyone get the best of him. I also really like this example where he jumps for info door, then as soon as he spots the T's, he instantly closes door and wastes no time to get up to a favorable position or at least the best position that he's given at the this very second. But it's impressive that he's able to do all this in less than 4 seconds thanks to his perfect movement, his decision making, and just making every second count. Having to play against someone like this is incredibly frustrating and Donk does it perfectly. Now the third thing about Donk is of course his aim, which was pretty obvious from all these clips. What makes his aim so good though is his reaction time and his almost inhuman bullet accuracy. This example, which I'm pretty sure you've seen already, is a perfect demonstration. The spray transfer is spot on. He is just melting everybody, which again shows his bullet accuracy being on point. And because he's so accurate, he is essentially maximizing his damage. My M4 silencer doesn't work this way, but his does, as he's able to get two simple frags from here, and because he isn't letting a single bullet miss, he reaches maximum damage instantly. In this example, the first kill isn't easy to get from his position, knowing he might be open to long, he still gets it, and then this second kill is just amazing. Again, it's the accuracy and just nailing his bullets that makes him so special. Donk has already found two great openings for this round, but he's still able to follow up with his last 2k at the end, which again shows how no bullet goes to waste. And those are the three things that makes Donk so special. His great timing, putting himself in favorable positions, 
and maximizing damage by not letting a single bullet miss. Now, during the RMR, Donk has struggled a bit to reach that amazing Katowice performance, but knowing all this about him and why he's so good, it's easy to see that Katowice wasn't just a one-time thing. Spirit recently qualified for the major, and we're sure to see more of him soon. This needs to be said as well, but I like how other players from other teams have truly stepped up, so it's gonna be fun to see how things go for everyone. Peace.